Hey everybody, welcome back to The Kelly O Show. It is Thursday and I have something on my mind that I feel I just, I've got to address it. I actually was doing an interview today with a dear friend of mine, Katie Widrick, who is awesome. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I was interviewing her actually in, a, in, in what is a series of interviews that I'm publishing in a private Facebook group for the members of my new course, The Opposite of Nice Isn't Nasty, Sales Training for Women in Business. The link to that is below. If you're interested in joining my beta group this summer, please ping me and let me know. Um, we are going through the beta launch through the end of August and then we will be relaunching the course in September with all new content, raising the price because I've taken this course and expanded it greatly. But that's not necessarily the point of my video, although that is something I'm ridiculously excited and proud about. When I was interviewing Katie today, this, this concept came up and Katie was sharing how, you know, how her career had progressed from being a blogger to being a owner of a, a small agency that did um, digital services for other uh, entrepreneurs in the health, wellness, and fitness field. And now she is working with the Faster Way to Fat Loss group in, from the corporate perspective in um, information technology. And she was talking about the progression of her career. And she was specifically talking to a time when she was working, owning her own business and was very successful and was making great money and by all accounts uh, was a huge success. However, in her mind, she came to this point where she was like, okay, this is great. I've got a waiting list. I've got all these clients. I'm making great money. But she was realizing that her personal life was suffering. Her personal life was suffering in the amount of time she wanted to spend with her kids and her husband. And she made the decision that her definition of success and happiness and richness and wealth came from being able to work the way she wanted to work and spend the, the time that she wanted to spend with her husband and her kids, so on and so forth. And that led her to inevitably shutting that very successful business down and moving into a different role working for somebody else. And for her, that was a solid win. Now, what to me came out of that story was something that resonated with me and I believe is important for all of you, not just in a business context, but very much so in a context of our fitness, health, and wellness journey. And I'm gonna share with you because it's exactly what's going on with me and what I'm gonna encourage you to do. So what came to me when, when Katie was sharing that story is what so many of us are not doing in our lives. And that is we are not paying enough attention or taking the time to pay enough attention to ourselves. We're not being selfish. And it's important to be selfish in these cases, and I'll explain why. When I'm saying you're not paying enough attention to yourself, what I mean is when was the last time that you really took some moments hours, maybe a whole day, took time to really think about your, your career, your business, your marriage, where you live, what your social life looks like, what your life is like. When was the last time you just took a big picture look and, and decided if it's working for you, if you're happy, if you're fulfilled, if you, if you feel like, hey, this is my life and I wouldn't change a thing. Side note, this person's car alarm has literally gone off 17 times today. I digress. When I moved from Chicago to Austin, I had more people private message me and go, God, Kelly, I wish I could do what you're doing. When I quit my job in 2011 to run the company I founded at the time, Fitfluential, full time, people said, I don't know how you do it. I wish I could do it. I've always wanted to start my own company. And, and I responded to all of those people in the same way. I said, why can't you do what I'm doing? And they'd say, oh, well, I have kids. I can't move. Oh, well, I, um, I have a full time job. I, you know, I don't have the education. I can't do this. And they'd have all these reasons why they couldn't do anything. And I said, have you ever really like taken the time to figure out if maybe you could or if you could develop a plan to, 
to do this or move and live where you want to live or maybe get that second house that you want or a vacation spot. And most, more often than not, most people would just automatically say no. And I just knew they'd never taken the time to evaluate. And the thing is, people, like, I had that wake-up moment. When I looked around my condo in Chicago, I'm like, why am I living here? I never leave my house. All I do is work. I like the warmer climate. Why do I feel like I'm, I need to stay here? And I realized I was staying there out of this odd sense of obligation. Like I needed to stay there because that's where all the members of my family were living. And there was no unwritten rule that somebody said I, I had to live near my family as a grown adult. And I chose to do what I wanted to do. And because I did that, here's where you have to start thinking about being selfish differently. When I moved from Chicago to Austin and I got into Texas where the climate is warm and it's sunny all the time, I wanted to be outside more. I wanted to, and I ended up meeting the love of my life here. I mean, I was meant to be here. When you put yourself first and you start living your life when you're happy and fulfilled and, and you feel like you're, you're living your calling in whatever way that looks for you. It doesn't mean you have to be an entrepreneur and run your own business. You can be doing this working for somebody else, but it means that you're doing what you're, what sets you on fire, what's, what makes you happy, what makes you want to get out of bed every day. If you get up every day, if you go to bed every night, Sunday night, and you are dreading Monday because of your job, it's time to start thinking about another alternative. When you are living your life with joy and happiness and your stress is down, your health is going to be far better. Your fitness results will be far better. And guess what? You're doing more for other people around you because you're happy, because you're joyful, because you're, I mean, look at me shooting this video. Do I sound like I'm pissed off and angry? No, I, I'm trying to help other people get to better optimal health, but also health and happiness. Um, I had several wake up calls in my life where I realized all I do is work. I never leave my house. I don't have any joy. I'm not fulfilled and I don't like the business that I'm running. And then I made changes and because I'm making changes, I'm able to contribute to this world more. Now, let me give you the second example. Why you should be paying more attention to yourself and being selfish to take the time to pay attention to yourself when it comes to your, your body and your health. I'm going through this time period right now for whatever reason, I'm, I'm sure my doctor and I will figure it out, but I have been having for the past six to eight weeks, um, non-stop headaches and migraines and a stomach ache pretty much every single day. After every meal I eat, I have a stomach ache, I'm bloated, um, my, my stomach hurts, I'm having cramping. This has been non-stop for four to six weeks, no matter what I eat, doesn't matter. I have a headache every single day, sometimes several times a day. I'm waking up in the middle of the night with a headache all the time. There's something going on and I am taking the time to not only pay attention and acknowledge it, to, to bring this situation to my doctor and to find solutions and I'm going to do whatever it takes because frankly, life is too short to be walking around clutching your stomach and taking Excedrin every day and having to lie down and, and cancel calls with clients because you have a headache. Life is too, our bodies are not designed to be in pain and, and bloating and stomach aches every single day. Life is meant to be enjoyed. But do you know how many people have their bodies giving them red flags and they ignore it? They're not giving enough time and attention to their bodies. And, and maybe it's not something with you where you have all of those red flags and you've got an alert going on like you have a, I mean, clearly there's something wrong with me. But in, in regards to your fitness, a lot of people are just going to the gym, getting on the treadmill, doing the same thing every single week, year in, year out. They complain that they're never losing the weight and they don't do anything differently and they don't pay attention to how they look. They just keep buying bigger clothes and, and they're just not taking the time to go, okay, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expecting different results. Why, what do I need to do differently if I really wanna be in the most optimal health possible? And here's the thing, you know what really gets on my nerves? When people seem to think that optimal health and wellness is only available to people between the ages of 20 and 25. I've got news for you. I'm 50 years old. I am currently in the middle of actual menopause and I'm in the, with 
the situation that I'm dealing with right now, the stomach ache and the head, headache, that's a very odd situation. That's a very much a departure from the norm. Other than that, I'm in the best shape of my life. I feel better and look better than I ever have in my life. And I'm more excited about the future than I ever have been in my life. That's because I pay attention to my health. I make my priority, excuse me, I, I make my health a priority. And I'm making my fitness goals a priority. I'm making commitments to myself to be healthy and happy and have balance in my life and decide how I want my life to look like because health isn't just strictly about what we weigh on the scale, it's about everything. Are you fulfilled in your life? Do you have low, low amounts of stress or are you able to handle stress effectively? Those are all big things, you know, your relationship status. These are all things that a lot of people don't take time to think about. They don't take a step back and go, wow, I am miserable in my marriage and I'm, what am I doing about it? It's like I've become a roommate with my husband or my wife. I hear that all the time. Or people will go, well, I've hated my job for 10 years, but you know, I am i don't have my degree. It's too late for me to get another job. Or I could never become an entrepreneur. I don't have this you know, skill or I don't have time. Stop making excuses. Think about what you really want and decide that you're worth it. Because when you take the time to be selfish and pay attention to yourself, and start making changes accordingly when when you take that time and you figure things out that's when you can become better for the other people around you so that's how this all comes full circle and being selfish is not really being selfish you need to be selfish we all need to be more selfish so that we can ultimately become the best version of ourselves and therefore be better for everyone else around us it really does work that way so I'm curious to see what you think about this video. I'm curious to hear if this resonates with you, if you realize that you've never taken the time to do this and if you're gonna do it now, or I'm curious to hear if you're watching this, if you have done this very practice and how it's changed your life for the better. Let me know in the comments below and make sure you head over to my blog at kellyalexa.com so you can read the whole blog post. I will see you guys soon.